This is a widgeon drake. And I'll begin with cutting the V-notch on the lower mandible. I'm going to cut the skin along the feather line. Keep a little tension on the skin there and helps me see where I'm cutting. Then I'll flip it over and I'll cut the V-notch on the top. Then I'll follow along the side. Again, I'm just following the feather line. Okay, once I've got to the, the whole side of the upper mandible, I'm going to leave the rictus, which is the connective membrane there between the upper and lower mandible. I'm going to leave that attached to the skin, so I'm going to cut through that. And then, then I'm going to cut the side of the lower mandible. As I do that, I'm pulling the skin back. I'm going to let it roll back off of the head. And I'll flip it over and do the other side the same way. Cutting through the rictus there. Same on the lower mandible. At that point, the skin separated all the way around the head. And I'll begin to roll it back. Uh, use just a little bit of tension to pull the skin back. It helps to roll it over. And keeping a little tension on there, I'll cut this connective tissue there. And let the skin continue to roll back. As I'm working, I will rotate the head around all the way around the head and let it continue to work down.
It's a little tricky around the eye socket there. I want to be careful to not cut through the skin there. Again, I'm keeping tension on, on the skin so I can see where I'm cutting. Also want to watch at the ear canal and cut close to the skull there and sever the ear canal. At that point the skin will just roll right off. Once I've got one side done, the other side comes fairly easy. Come over that eye. Now I'm going to expose this ear canal here and I'll cut through that. Again, cutting real tight to the skull. And there, the skin rolls off the head much like a sock coming off your foot. At that point, the head is separated from the skin. 